Have you ever found yourself pondering over the distinction between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells? It's a question that's been asked since the dawn of cellular biology, and today we're going to unravel the mystery in a straightforward and comprehensible way. Dive with me into the microscopic world of cells, the basic building blocks of life. In this world, we encounter two main types of cells, the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cells. So, what sets these two apart? Well, their differences are as clear as night and day, yet they're both integral parts of life as we know it. Prokaryotic cells are like the pioneers of the cellular world. These cells are much older in terms of evolution, and they're rather simple in structure. Imagine a tiny one-room apartment. That's a prokaryotic cell for you. They lack a nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles, which means all their genetic material just floats around inside the cell. Now, let's move on to the eukaryotic cells. Picture a multi-story luxurious apartment complex, fully equipped with all the latest amenities. This represents the eukaryotic cell. These cells are more complex and larger than their prokaryotic counterparts. They possess a nucleus, which houses their genetic material, and they also contain various membrane-bound organelles. You may ask, why does this distinction matter? Well, it's crucial for understanding the complexity of life on Earth. Prokaryotic cells make up the microscopic organisms we know as bacteria and archaea. On the other hand, eukaryotic cells constitute everything from the fungi growing on your stale bread to the cells that make up your own body. So, to recap, the key differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells are their complexity, size, and the presence or absence of a nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. Prokaryotic cells are small, simple, and lack a nucleus, while eukaryotic cells are larger, more complex, and contain a nucleus along with other organelles. And there you have it. The mystery of the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells is solved. Isn't it fascinating how these tiny structures can be so diverse and complex? It's a testament to the wonder of life in its most fundamental form. Understanding these differences not only unravels the complexity of life, but also opens up a world of possibilities in fields like biotechnology, medicine and environmental science. So next time you hear about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, you'll know exactly what they're talking about. Remember, the world of cells is as vast and varied as life itself. So keep exploring, keep learning, and let the wonders of biology continue to amaze you.